I'm going to show you how to make your voice sound better in real time. And what's more, you don't even need a mixer. Yes, you can do this all with your Mac and any microphone from internal mic to USB to a professionally connected XLR microphone. We'll test them all out. And to push the point home, I'm going to get out of my pro studio and head over to the kitchen. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. I've spent plenty of time teaching you how to make your voice sound better after recording in an audio editor. But what about how to make your voice sound better in real time? I'm thinking of you particularly if you're a live stream. How do you make your voice sound better on a live stream? Thanks to my friends at Ginger Audio who were cool enough to sponsor this video, I'm gonna show you an app called Caster. It's Mac only and it can do magic. In fact, it can even replace a physical mixer. So it not only saves you time, it also saves you money. And let me have a look at how you do that. Well, first of all, you add a source, so a microphone track. And I'm gonna start off with my MacBook Pro's internal microphone to really show you the power of this app. You can add USB, XLR mics, you name it, anything. So input one. This is my MacBook Pro's internal microphone. It sounds pretty decent. The reason for that, there's a couple of plugins running here, voice purity and voice radio. If I disable those, this is actually what my MacBook Pro's internal mic sounds like. And I think you'll agree, when I enable those plugins, what a difference. Now, if it can do that to an internal mic, I'm really delighted to find out what it will do to other microphones. So obviously now I can go ahead and add another microphone here. I'm gonna add my Bear Dynamic Fox USB microphone. And I've just crossed out, so I'm not sending the audio now from my microphone here, my MacBook Pro's internal mic, but you're actually listening to me now on the Bayer Dynamic Fox. Now you'll notice I've got two microphones at the same time plugged into Caster. That means I can have multiple microphones, multiple guests, even multiple USB microphones working inside this app. It really is quite a lot of magic. And again, I can mute this one off. And then there's nothing going through the Caster app. So I really do have fine grain detail on exactly what is happening here. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch off the headphone cross here so I can actually hear myself on the Bayer Dynamic Fox. And now we'll have a little play with these plugins. So voice purity and voice radio. Let's disable voice radio and you'll hear the difference. There's a big difference. And then disable voice purity and now that's gone. So the idea of voice purity, that filters out a lot of the background noise keeps you sounding really clean on your live stream. And then voice radio really boosts up your voice and makes it sound large in real time, much, much better. And I'm gonna go into detail on the settings of the plugins when we move to my Pro XLR microphone. Let's add that in now. And I'll go down to the Scarlett 2i2 interface, which has connected to it my Electro Voice RE20 mic. Okay, now I've added my Electro Voice RE20, and boy, wow, doesn't this sound good? It has real-time processing on it, and it works pretty instantly. Let's dial into what these effects do and how you'd use them. Well, Voice Radio has a few simple things, input and output volume boosts. We'll switch off everything, frequencies off, compressor off, expander off. So the expander will filter out your background noise. Let's switch that on. If you've got more background noise, you boost that right the way up like this, and it really cuts out all the background and all the way down if you want a lighter background noise filtration. I'll leave it back at the default. Compression, well, the more I push that up, the bigger the voice sounds, the more up front, and the more I move it down here, the less processing there is on my voice. So it's up to me to really get the sweet spot, but I find the default settings work pretty well. Bottom is bass, so you can get that announcer voice, and if you go too far, you sound really, really boomy. Hello. Oh my goodness, when I switch that on, it's only bass. Let's switch it on now and slowly dial it up. Wow, okay, so you can go nuts. And Exciter is that imaging sound, that big high end. Hello, 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 nice and crisp. You want to sound crispy? Just increase the Exciter. So lots you can do there. Not only that, I can add apps in. So one of my favorites to add would be something like Zoom. I can go ahead and add a Zoom call here. And if I open up Zoom, and have a look at the preferences menu here. I'll just need to go into the audio menu here and make sure I've got the speaker set as caster and the microphone set as caster stream mix one. This is now sending my stream mix, so anything coming out of the caster app to my Zoom call, so I can seamlessly mix them 
into the Caster app and into my live stream. Not only that, I can open up an app like OBS Studio that I'm using to record my screen right now, and I can actually dial into the properties of audio and make sure the Caster Stream Mix 1 is selected there. So everything from my Caster app will go out to my live stream via OBS or my live streaming app. It really is very, very cool indeed. And I can add and remove channels as I like. I can even play sound effects. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Or I can play this. So it's got a soundboard, sort of jingle board, music. You can put anything on there and mix it into your live stream. There's also the ability to record. Hello, this is a recording of my Electro Voice RE20 plugged into the Caster app. And when I stop it, it gives me a little folder icon where I can dive straight to my folder. And look at this. It actually breaks everything out into separate tracks for later post-mixing if you're making a podcast or something like that. Everything is done for you. I can't think of anything else I need to do once I've installed this app on my Mac. So there you go. The Caster app is absolutely awesome and it roots your audio around and does so much more all in real time, making you sound better as a live streamer. How will you be using this app? Let me know in the comments down below.